Hey guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas Patnak and it's going to be yet another tutorial in hexagonal plane projection. The conditions in this case are going to be slightly different from the previous tutorial that I had done and why wait? Let's get started then. A regular hexagon of 30mm side has a corner on the HP. The corner opposite to the, this corner is 25mm above the HP. The top view of the diagonal through these corners is perpendicular to the VP. Draw the projections of the plane and find its inclination with the VP. Whole lot of corners are there in this problem. Anyways, let's sort them out one by one. So there is this hexagon in front of us, 30mm side hexagon. All right, all these sides are 30mm each. And there is this corner on the HP. You can clearly see that this hexagon has six corners and out of those six corners, there is one such corner. Let's see this guy, this one. This is always resting or always in contact with this horizontal plane. So this in fact is, can be termed as a condition given in the problem. Okay, and there is one more condition that the corner opposite to this corner. So initially we considered this corner to be in the HP and the corner opposite to this corner is this guy, this corner. All right. Now it appears as if this corner is 25 millimeters above the horizontal plane. All right. Now this is also a condition that you've got to make sure appears in your drawing. All right. Now guys, there is another condition that says the top view of the diagonal through these corners is perpendicular to the VP. Now, when you join these two corners with the help of a line, okay, you have a diagonal and this diagonal's top view is actually uh, perpendicular to the VP or you can also say it is at an angle of 90 degrees with the vertical plane. So let's get started. Okay. Beta diagonal is equal to 90 degree. So guys, stay tuned because in the next section, I'm going to demonstrate as to how this object has been really kept with respect to HP and VP. So let's see how it goes. So guys, this in front of you is what you call a hexagonal plane. You can clearly see it has as many as six sides and all of them are 30 millimeters each. Now I'll be discussing conditions in this particular demonstration. There is this condition number one, which says that out of the six corners, there is one such corner. Let us say this one, which is always in contact rather with the horizontal plane, something like this. This clearly indicates that the remaining five corners, all right, all of them have been lifted above the ground. So this brings us to condition number two, which states that the corner opposite to the corner, which is in the HP. I've already told you that this corner is in the HP and opposite to this corner, we have this one. All right. Now, it appears as if this corner is at a height of this height of 25 millimeters above the ground. That means above the horizontal plane. So this is going to be condition number two. Now you can clearly say that the surface is going to be making some angle with the horizontal plane. So I've given you a funda. Always try to remember this. Whenever surface is inclined to HP, slam it on HP and question yourself as to from which view you can see the true shape of the surface. All right. One thing is for sure that the true shape of the surface can only be seen from the top. All right. And this is exactly what you're going to see from the top. And this is exactly what you're going to see from the front. In the top view, you'll see a hexagon true shape of the hexagon and in the front view, you'll see simply see a line starting from this point until you reach here. So this is going to be assumption for us for step number one. So step number one, step number two, making sure that this corner is at a height of 25 millimeters and in step number three, we'll have a diagonal stop view. Now guys, this corner and this corner, when we join both these corners, we'll have a diagonal and the top view of that diagonal is going to be perpendicular to this XY line or the vertical plane, something like this. After doing the entire projection, you need to work out how much the surface inclination with vertical plane is. So you have to look at this from side. So I'll do it like this. Now you guys are looking at this from the side. And if we say that this is the vertical plane, this is the horizontal plane, this is the angle made with the horizontal plane. And this over here represents the angle made with the vertical plane. So any sort of angle made with VP is represented by phi and eventually phi is going to work out at 65 degrees you'll observe why so guys that was all about demonstration and now let's head over to drawing sheets i'll head over to powerpoint in order to explain how all these things can be implemented so let's get started all right guys now that you've seen how the object has been really kept with respect to hp and vp we are now going to make its projection so initially we are assuming the object that is the hexagonal plane to be resting entirely on the horizontal plane. Okay. In such a case, its true shape will be evident. The true shape of the surface will only be evident from the top. And hence we're going to begin by making the top view first. So let's have a point A. Okay. And these two lines are for 30 millimeters each. All right. And if you try to draw a horizontal line over here, and this is going to be 60 degrees anti-clock, and this is going to be 60 degrees clock so that the internal angle works out as 120 degrees. All right. Now you need to go straight from these two points all right horizontally 30 millimeters each all right i'll show you how that's it now again 120 degrees clock from here 120 degrees anti-clock and then you're gonna end up here all right 
now let's name each and every point b c d e and f you can clearly see that this corner will be always in contact with the horizontal plane and this corner will be at a height of 25 millimeters above the horizontal plane all right let's have the front view let's have the projector lines fine so this is going to be point a this is going to be point f and b this is going to be point c e this is going to be d all right let's join all of them so that's the front view assuming that the surface is lying entirely on the horizontal plane and its corresponding top and front views were made in the second step we have to make sure that this d dash opposite to this corner a dash we have this d dash appears at a height of 25 millimeters above the horizontal plane okay so let's make a point over here in the form of a dash all right that's a dash for you and let's get a line a construction line at a height of 25 millimeters above this x y line okay so because we are looking at this from the front that's why okay so that's the line along which we're gonna have to find this point d dash so the best way to do this keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here and then with this a dash as the center you need to put an arc something like this and this is going to give you point d dash d dash join it with a dash okay so that you can have the front view and you need to make these points simple it's uh, method is pretty simple keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here you can get a arc over here this is going to be f dash p dash same process has to be done for this and also this is going to be f dash p dash and that's e dash c dash now let's look at this object right from the top let's have the projector lines down below and let's have the projector line from the top view of step number one into step number two horizontally something like this all right now we're going to have the intersection points so this is going to be a dash is vertical this is going to be a is horizontal this is going to be a similarly this is going to be b c and so on all right let's join each and every point that's it you can clearly see the difference between these two top views in this particular top view the object was entirely lying on the horizontal plane that's why uh, you saw the true shape of the surface as far as this particular top view is concerned this it appears as if the surface of this object is inclined to the horizontal plane that's why this is the apparent top view okay slightly squeezed up top view fine let's move ahead in step number three we've got to make sure that this diagonal okay this diagonal over here is perpendicular to the vertical plane okay so let's make a perpendicular line from the vertical plane that's the perpendicular line fine you can clearly see that this hexagon over here is inscribed into in this rectangle all right and let us say that this side of the rectangle this side of this rectangle is absolutely parallel to this ad okay fine so what i'm going to do is this edge will be over here okay that's it okay this is going to be point a this is going to be point D. Fine. Now suppose I want points um, B and points F. So I need to take arcs from this point to this point. From this point to this point. I need to put those arcs over here. So that I can have point B and F. Something like this. Alright. Similarly you need to have points C and E. Okay. You need to take arcs from this point to this point. From this point to this point. Put them. So that you can have point C and point E. That's it. Now join all the points in sequence to have this hexagon. You can clearly see the difference between these two hexagons, apparent hexagons, top view. You can also say that this diagonal AD is parallel to this vertical plane or XY line. Fine. As far as this particular top view is concerned, it is absolutely clear that this diagonal is perpendicular to this XY line. That means it is perpendicular to the vertical plane. All right. Now let's have the front view. So let's have the projector lines from down to top and from left to right let's have the intersection points these are the intersection points uh, so this is line is for b and c so b is horizontal is over here c is horizontal is over here and similarly all the remaining points can be worked on and finally it should look something like this all right guys now the projection part is over we've made the projections successfully the only thing left is to find the inclination that the surface of this plane makes with the vp now, suppose you're looking at this object from over here, from the right hand side, you're going to see this, all right, it appears as if this is the angle made by the surface of the line or surface of the plane rather with the horizontal plane and this angle over here 
is the angle made by the surface of the plane with the vertical plane and it's going to work out as you can keep protracted over here okay and then work out this angle okay and it's going to work out as 65 degrees all right so this is something that you must practice and uh, in your drawing sheets all right guys so guys that was all from my side if you have any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them as quickly as possible and guys if you believe that this video has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing then do encourage your friends and classmates to subscribe to this channel so that all of us can benefit so guys this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing thank you